Welcome back to New Books with Karen. I'm Karen from Rust Regional, and we have a lot of new books to check out. With the library closed, you can't really peruse our new book shelf. So I'm highlighting them here. This is our first middle grade book offering. We have three books that are recommended for grades four and up. If any of these books interest you, call the library or use the MPL to go app on your phone and you can put them on hold for pickup curbside. Now these are scary books or frightening, maybe. Maybe just a little bit of a shiver will go down your spine. And what I like a scary book, I grab a bowl of popcorn. So grab me a snack. The first book is Frightville, a new series we have, Don't Let the Doll In by Mike Ford. That's a creepy doll. If you like goosebumps, you will probably enjoy this. And the back, the perfect dollhouse meets the perfect doll. When Mara hear, hears about a new store called Frightville, she can't wait to check it out. On its shelves are strange and unusual gifts of all kinds. It's there that she comes face to face with Charlotte a small figurine of a friendly looking girl. Mara instantly feels that Charlotte is meant to live with her. But once Charlotte is in Mara's dollhouse, strange things start to happen. There are odd noises in the night and objects from Mara's room start to go missing. Is Mara imagining things or is this doll actually haunted? Check it out. Next, we have one of my favorite authors, Watke. He wrote Alabama Moon and my favorite, Deep Water. This one is called Beast, face to face with the Florida Bigfoot. Look at that. You can see that Bigfoot right there? I read this last week. It is an action-packed suspense book. It's not necessarily scary, but it is action-packed. I'll just read you a brief blurb. Adam says he can't remember where he was for two months he went missing in the Florida swamp. It's not true. He does remember. He also hasn't forgotten why he went into the swamp in the first place. One night he was driving with his parents and the car crashed when his father swerved to avoid colliding with a giant Sasquatch-like creature standing in the highway. Hunted by his parents' subsequent disappearance and hounded for claiming to have seen Bigfoot, Adam sets off into the deadly wilderness on a hunt for answers as to what really happened that night. The answers he finds are more terrifying and more surprising than he could have imagined. Adam can only wish he didn't remember anything at all. It's a very good book. Like I said, I read it. Highly recommend it. Next, we have Scary Stories for Young Foxes. Aren't they cute? Christian McKay Heidegger. And this one has a horror label on it, so if that's your thing, you might want to give it a go. This is a collection of eight interconnected stories. Seven little foxes in the twisted antler wood listening to stories much later than they should. The first flees the teacher with dark, gooey eyes. The second from six sisters whose tongues tell lies. The third escapes a woman who peels foxes' skins. The fourth slinks away from the Golgath Hirsch's grin. The fifth wets the ground when he smells Mr. Scratch. The sixth turns tail when the paw finds its march, match. The seventh little fox in the wood all alone Facing down it goes beneath branches of bone. One little fox stays the whole night through, but she, but can she make it to the end? Better yet, can you? <laughs> and this one has really pretty illustrations, including this one. I hope that poor little fox gets out of that. So if any of these books interest you, Call the library at 340-8555 or use the MPL to go app to put them on hold for curbside pickup. The summer reading celebration is underway. It's a little different this year because of social distancing. 
but we have daily activities online. The bingo game is lots of, lots of fun, as well as the digital breakout rooms and quizzes. Check the MPL website online, mobilepubliclibrary.org. Happy reading!